Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add motion paths on the objects. So let's say that if I'll click on this particular button, it will show some cool animation. Uh, I am using Articular Storyline 360 right now. Um, so let me show you how. So I have created this slide that has nothing on it right now. Uh, I'll click on this particular object. You will find this option under animation. Uh, add a motion path. I will select arcs as one of the motion path and you see this particular motion path right now by default it will show something like this. I need to change its direction. I just want this to come over here. So what I will do is I'll click on path options. Under path options you will have lots of directions over here. So you have multiple options. You can select any one of them uh, but for this one what I'll do is I'll click on right and then what I'm going to do is I will drag this object and put it over here. Make sure that whenever you are dragging the objects in the motion paths, you will select it from here. You will click, make sure that you will click on the red spot and then drag it. This way it will take the entire object and uh, it will be more smooth. Now, if you see that this thing is a little bit bumpy, so what I will do is I'll just decrease that bump. Perfect. Now, whenever you add a motion path, what normally happens is that it automatically creates a trigger. Right now, the trigger says that when the timeline starts off on hard. So it's going to be somewhat like this. Perfect. Now, what I want is that it sh the motion path should not work unless I click on either this button or this button, right? So what I'm going to do is whenever I click on healthy button, it should go towards right. So all I have to do is just modify this trigger. Right now it says when timeline starts, I will change that to when user click. So it's gonna be healthy food, right? So now if you see this, whenever I click on it, it moves down. Now the animation is like the starting point is somewhat here. I need to change the starting point. Plus I want, whenever someone clicks on junk food, the heart goes towards left. So first we will add another motion path and then we will work on the starting point. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'll click on heart button, add a motion path again. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, gonna drag this and put it over here. Make sure that you will select it from here, right? And uh, if it's a little bumpy then i will just put it over here right now again the the trigger is already created all i have to do is this time when i when i say user click i want junk food if i see the preview it's gonna be somewhat like this The starting point is the same one because we didn't change it. What I want is that, okay, if heart is over here, if I click on junk food, instead of starting from here, it should start from here. So for that, what I'm going to do is, I'll click on heart again, under path option, there is an option called relative start point. I'll click on it and now, I'll click on healthy food and now junk food. Awesome. So I hope you like this video. By the way, I'm also conducting a workshop on Articular Storyline next week. Uh, for more details, please click the link below. Thank you.